Thanks for tuning in to our bonus episode preview. This is just a short sample of this week's exclusive Patreon episode. You can hear the episode in its entirety by becoming a member at patreon.com slash indoctrination, where you'll gain access to all of our exclusive episodes and merchandise. Hello to all the wonderful Patreon supporters listening to this bonus episode. This is for you as a thank you. Today, I want to talk to you about assertiveness. So we hear a lot about assertiveness training and people who really need to learn to be assertive. We also have dealt in our lives with people who are just a little too assertive. And they were a little too much, or sometimes a lot too much, for us to handle. So there are mixed reviews when it comes to the idea of assertiveness. But it is an absolutely crucial skill for cult survivors. It can have a profound impact on you when you learn to be assertive and when you learn to control the assertiveness. What I mean by that is there are plenty of people who have contacted me who have said, I left a cult or I left a controlling relationship and now I'm getting in fights with everyone. I cannot tolerate anyone telling me what to do. I cannot tolerate anyone telling me I was wrong. My nervous system just can't handle it. Or I spent so many years being silent that now, at the smallest provocation, I let people have it. And it might be displaced anger. I might really be wanting to yell at my former partner or my former cult member, but they're not there. So mm, the mail carrier who is late with my mail is the one to be the recipient, unfortunately or the waitress at the restaurant. And I'm not sure what to do because I don't want to go back to being silent, but mm, this is going to isolate me and make me come across as difficult and unkind. And so we're going to talk about the kind of assertiveness where it's about reclaiming your voice, but also still setting healthy boundaries around it and around yourself. It's a difficult thing to navigate, and that's why we're going to get into it. So assertiveness, let's define it first. It's the ability to express your thoughts and feelings and your needs, too, in a direct and honest and also respectful manner, going back to what I was saying before while also considering the rights and feelings of others. And it's a balanced approach to communication that lies between passivity and aggression, right? Because we're not talking about aggression. We're talking about assertiveness. Passive communication involves really suppressing your own needs and feelings. And Most of us do this at different times to avoid conflict and to please others, especially people who have been involved in cults or who have been in relationships with those who were very controlling or punitive. But this can lead to resentment and a lack of self-respect. Aggressive communication, on the other hand, involves expressing yourself in a way that violates the rights of others often through intimidation, manipulation, and this definitely can damage relationships and create hostility. Assertiveness allows people to stand up for themselves while respecting others, fostering healthy relationships, and improve self-esteem. And so it's particularly important for cult survivors to help them reclaim their personal autonomy and to rebuild a sense of self or to build a sense of self for the first time. In cults, members are often conditioned to suppress their own needs and opinions in favor 
of the group's or leader's desires. So this can lead, as you know, to a loss of identity and trouble with expressing yourself after leaving. 